Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, thank you for watching. Today's video is about thimbleberries, or West Indies raspberries. It's got a raspberry flavor, but a little bit watered down, and it is an invasive species that was not native to Hawaii, but it grows everywhere in Hawaii. And it is kind of annoying for like a homesteader, it will invade your property and it's got thorns all over it, and it's very similar to like a rose bush. And, uh, it's delicious and it's definitely a wild edible that you can find on a hike or at your campsite places like that and on your homestead and and in uh, subdivisions and neighborhoods uh, all over Hawaii stick around and see what this plant looks like here we have some wild thimbleberry this is an invasive species to Hawaii as far as I can tell it has thorns, so I believe, I'm not an expert, but I believe that all of the Hawaiian plants that have thorns were most likely invasive species and weren't here on the island or weren't part of the canoe plants. These get much bigger and higher elevation and they grow wild everywhere in Hawaii. They're prolific and at certain times of year they're edible and delicious. Just not as flavorful as, let's say, a raspberry or something. You got a light water kind of flavor. And I'll have one. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's a good breakfast. So there we go. Wild thimbleberry. Here's the leaf. And there's the berry. Pretty cool, huh? A little bit different than your normal raspberry bush. Kind of a rose bush kind of look to it. But they are delicious. And they're pre-annual. So, you know, it, it, uh, it's a tough plant. And it, you know, fruits a couple times a year. And uh, I remember as a kid, uh, you know, picking, ra you know, these thimbleberries. And it was like a, you know, the jungle is like a, like a candy store, right? I mean, there's just so much sweets, you know, uh, almost year round. We'll have some fruits like mangoes and, and bananas and guava. Guava pretty much, um, you know, a couple times a year at least will fruit and it's everywhere. So I would just remember, you know, picking these um, as a kid and I, you know, uh, as a homesteader, as an adult, they're kind of annoying, but uh, as long as you keep them in a patch and you keep them under control, they're actually quite useful. I know a lot of people will gather them, um, do some roadside raiding, you know, go along the roadside and make jam out of uh, these thimbleberries, uh, very similar to like mango jam. They do the same thing with mangoes because there's just mangoes all over the side of the road um, in mango season. And guava, guava jam is uh, really popular. So. I hope you like this video. Comment. I'm here for any comments, any questions. I'd be happy to answer. Check me out on Instagram at His Survival. Got some cool pictures. Uh, I post up uh, uh, quite often. And I hope you share this video. Knowledge uh, is is awesome to have, and to see this in a video is is pretty cool. Um, you might run into uh, these uh, thimbleberries, so and now you know that they're edible. Um, and most Westerners would kind of realize that it's like a raspberry. But anywho, I hope you share this video. I hope you subscribe. Please subscribe. And hit that re the, the red, or I just, I think this is the bell symbol. Um, for notifications when I upload a video. And just hit that red subscribe button for further videos. And until next time. Hello. Ha!